But again, when you look at the language that is used to describe people with disabilities, for example, in my language, a deaf person is called Kasiru. And Kasiru is translated to mean someone who's stupid. Then, uh, in another language, they, they, one of the languages back home, they define a person, for example, with a disability as a chifire. And the chifire means semi dead. And in one, I mean, several art descriptions are given. And if, so, if, for example, your parents are referring you to, I mean, they're they calling you as semi dead. If the community identifies you as someone who's semi dead, will they have, a, will they ever have any time to plan for you? To, I mean, to plan for you when they are looking at education programs, when they are creating new schools, will they have you in plan or in mind? To me, the CRPD means the paradigm shift. In that context, paradigm shift. Meaning in my country, it, it, it signifies a shift from, from uh, viewing a person with a disability as a patient to a holder of rights, but also as a, me and a member of the entire community, spectral, I mean, entire community. Different African countries have had different approaches towards people with disabilities. For example, a country like Uganda may not be, a country like Uganda or South Africa may not be compared with a country like Sudan in terms of legislation, in terms of representation, in terms of involvement, it's the sense of the disability movement. But again, when you look at it from the US context, you look at a law which is on a move, a law in action, whereby very many people with disabilities have gone ahead to litigate, to use this law to challenge violations of their rights. But again, you come also to a country like Uganda where you have the laws, very limited litigation, very lim uh, uh, not very effective policies. The policies are there, but not very good. And you realize, yes, the disability movement is there, but they are doing a lot of work. And at one point, doing one thing, there are seven, ten organizations doing the same thing, but different because of lack of coherence and lack of clear definition. So, but again, you go to countries like um, which country can I sing or maybe Liberia. Yeah, there are some countries like Liberia, maybe. I'm not so sure, but a few countries in West Africa where these laws almost do not exist. Some countries have not even ratified the CRPD. So it's very, very difficult for someone to draw a clear, like, guide, benchmark between, let's say, the US context in terms of the ADA and activism with the general African context.